Okay, so last week the JTV team were invited along to the impressive facilities at Leeds United's Thorpe Arch training ground. Jockey George Challoner sampled life as a footballer and also spoke to Holly Watts about his burgeoning career. George, we're here today at Leeds United Football Club in an environment that's fair to say pretty foreign to you. Yeah, it's a bit different than what I'm used to. Uh, it's a bit bigger than what I thought. What or who prompted you to enter the tough and competitive world of horse racing? Um, I've been brought up from it from a little kid. Um, you know, when I left school, I, I, the first thing I wanted to do, and my granddad was a jockey, his brother was a jockey, you know, sort of read into me, to be honest. How big an influence has the Northern Racing College been with regards to your development? Uh, it's been a great thing for me, you know, they've, they've done a lot for me, they've supported me through everything. They've took me to, they took me to Ireland the other year, France, Dubai last year, you know, they're always looking after me. I believe you're currently doing an advanced course. Could you explain a bit more about that, George? Yeah, once a month, twice a month, I go up to Kevin Darley up at Thirsk, um, do a simulated session with him. I have a person from the Northern Racing College come to me every now and again with um, modules and stuff to do on paper. At the end of it, we get a qualification out of it. Do you feel jockeys are rewarded enough considering the dedication and risks involved? Yeah, it's a hard life, uh, dedication in the mornings to get up to work, watching what you're eating, you know, and un unsociable hours. With claiming seven pounds, do you struggle with your weight then? I have to watch what I eat, but touch wood, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing too bad with it. So do you still have a guilty pleasure, food-wise? Uh, like McDonald's every now and again, well, who doesn't? If you could change one thing about racing, what would it be? It would have to be the unsociable hours, I suppose. You know, it could be from seven in the morning to God knows in the afternoon, and then go back in the afternoon for evening stables. Um, and then you've got racing on top of that. How exhilarating was it winning the Steward Sprint Stakes at Glorious Goodwood last August on a 21 to Outsider? It was a great, it was a great experience, you know. We always knew he'd run well. Uh, I'd won on him two starts before at, at Doncaster. And then I rode him at Pontefract, finished fifth, he ran a blinder. So we always knew he'd run well. So George, you've already had a winner at Glorious Goodwood. Which other race would you like to win? You know, the Derby, any of the Kitco British Champion Series? Everyone you know, wants to win the biggest races there is, the Derby, all them sort of races. You know, I've, I've been lucky enough to have a, a ride in the Air Gold Cup and the, the Lincoln Handicap. What are your racing objectives and ambitions? To, to get down to my five pound claim by this, this coming year, coming, to make a good career out of it, good living, do my best. I believe you've a hidden talent in the musical department. Yeah, I play guitar every now and again. I don't play it as much as I used to. What style would you liken your talent to in terms of current musicians? Um, well, I used to play guitar like, a bit like Ed Sheeran, but I don't sing like him. Right, seeing as you're all in your kit, George, and ready to go, I guess it's time that you showed the Leeds United team how football really should be played. Yeah.